So we're at Snow's Hill Manor and my Huawei is still deciding to turn itself on and off randomly when it wants to. Sick to death of it, can't wait to get a new one. So don't get yourself a Huawei. I've decided they're utter rubbish. So let's have a look. This is Snow's Hill Manor in Gloucestershire in the Cotswolds and United Kingdom. Having a look around here. Some of these have been a bit stop and go. Sorry about that with the videos. So I don't know what that is at the back there. I thought it was an organ to start with, but I don't know. I think it's helping actually, thank you. <laughs> Mr. Wade believed very much that it was, you know, reduced lighting so that the object came out to the visitors. Ah, he right. a clear room and you walked in and thought, oh yeah, I can see all of this. <laughs> you know, he wanted you to be able to explore and to Lovely. notice things yourself. And to fascinating place we've been before but it's it's every time it's fascinating yes, yes and you're moving probably with the advantage of covid is that you're in the room on your own so you're not fighting your way past groups of people yes and you're moving probably a little bit more slowly than you did in the past so you i've had several people say that they've seen things that they have not seen before but I think there's so much to see. I think it's become. Yeah. I, mean, I, love, I love the mirror on that one. Oh, yeah. Now we come to instruments. <sighs> Look at these everywhere. I've seen those somewhere or other before. That's like a snake, isn't it? Is that called a serpent? I don't know. Good gracious. Everywhere. Look at the snake one up there, I've just noticed. Oh, are you? Well, there's big ones at the back there. And actually, when Charles was researching this, the reason he researched it is because he was physically excited he was a psychic. And he told him, not quite the full story, but kind of really tough down version of it based on what she said she sensed in this room. So believe that if you heard me or not. But I do get a person visitors every year to come into this room and say, oh, I just can't say anything. Mm -hmm. Well, I've, I've been in here many times, but one of my um, volunteer friends here, she just wants to hear she won't go to this room because she gets through science as well. I'm not like you. Maybe I'm a, maybe I'm a very insensitive person. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're Thank very you welcome. You can see it's very, very shallow pitch on it, but, um, but that was the actual original roof line. And then at some point in the 1600s, they said, You know what we need? We need a bit more storage, as we all say. Um, so they built another floor on the top of this. Okay. And, uh, and when it does, and 
Oh, right, because it is remarkable that the very, very wickedly got this door. And actually, Charles has named all the rooms upstairs after um, parts of the ship, because it really feels like you're... Can we just tell him, actually, when he walked in, he was feeling like he's going to be Well, he, he has a great love of nautical things, but I think all the wood and all the exposed wood really goes up to that. So, you know, mm -hmm. uh, this part of it is somewhere between 1500 and 1550. And um, the architect, keeps reviewing it, keeps studying it, and it's quite kind of getting that way. Is that what yeah? Yes. No. I Lines, they're thinking of, of, of music. Yeah. Five lines, yeah. five lines, five lines. Oh, stand yeah. by the thing. And imagine this open, yeah. the size of that. Yeah. And it's absolutely beautiful. Spanish 1680. Wow. Charles Wade found it in a bookshop in the Charing Cross Road. Really? I just want to pick it up and hold it right now. I, can't. I know. But it, it is amazing. Tempting, isn't it? Oh, God. What's the significance of Henry VIII over there on the wall? Well, if you look at the, on the on the coat of arms, Charles Wade wanted to research the owners of this ah, site from the earliest um, possible time. Right. And the earliest time he could go back to it was the year 700, Whoa. King Mercia. So going around chronologically over the families, we've got the royal king They were never here, but they owned this area, this site, the Suda Castle in Spain, yeah. So wow. Hence Henry the Great. Ah. Uh, thank you. All right. You see, the, um, now we're out of the main house and we're in another area. Swinging seat, that's interesting. Isn't it? Interesting. Chairs. That big chair up by the fire. You got all the stuff to Pulleys. spit. Pulley blocks. I think there's nothing he didn't collect. Well, thank you for watching. Bye for now from Snows Hill Manor in Gloucestershire, United Kingdom. This is the Rambling Ramblers saying farewell.
Thank you for watching.